We've compiled an extensive list of quick grey fox facts that will both inform and amaze you. Facts about their behaviour, mating and rearing, hunting and their physical abilities that demonstrate just how adaptable this creature is to a variety of habitats. I hope you're ready. We're going to be moving fast. Let's get straight into it. Number 1. Grey foxes are actually common throughout North and South America. Number 2. In North America, they have the widest distribution of any wild canid, ranging from southern Canada to southern Mexico. Number 3. The grey fox is named so because of its grey fur. They have fewer fur glands than most mammals and have many physical traits that help them remain largely scent free. Number 4. They are part of the Canidae family, which includes wolves and coyotes. Number 5. Grey foxes can actually survive in many different types of ecosystems, but they're most commonly seen in deciduous forests. The trees help to provide cover at night to keep them safe from predators. Number 6. For their size, grey foxes have an impressive sense of sight and hearing. Number 7. The grey fox is very dexterous and has evolved to climb trees, something that few of the creatures of their size can do and that which no other fox can perform. If you've learned something so far, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Number 8. A grey fox is long and slender, with a bushy tail that is almost as long again as its body. Number 9. Most grey foxes will weigh between 8 and 18 pounds. Number 10. The grey fox has extremely strong legs and feet with large claws that allow it to grip objects, climb trees and dig burrows. Number 11. Grey foxes typically live for 7 to 10 years in the wild, but can live up to 15 years in captivity. Number 12. Adult grey foxes have grey fur on their backs and white underbellies with dark spots. Newborn pups are also spotted, but the spots become less visible as they get older. Number 13. Being omnivores, grey foxes will eat a wide variety of foods, including meat and fruit. However, they favour rodents, rabbits, birds and birds' eggs. Click the card above to see the complete fox diet. Number 14. In addition to climbing trees or swimming to capture prey, grey foxes have been observed digging up rodents. Number 15. Grey foxes have two breeding periods each year one in the spring and one in the fall. A male's home range will overlap with many female home ranges. Number 16. When mating season arrives, grey foxes pair up and defend their territory from other grey foxes. This is to reduce the number of potential suitors and potential fights that may occur. Number 17. Grey foxes often communicate by marking their territory with scents and by body language and postures. They also use urine to mark trails and territories. Number 18. Grey foxes also communicate through sound and smell and will growl and bark when they feel threatened or to warn their family of impending danger. Number 19. Litters of four to five kits are born around April to May. Number 20. Generally, males play no part in rearing the young. Grey foxes typically live with their parents until they reach sexual maturity, which is around 10 months in the wild. 21. Grey foxes are friendly and playful. They are also often friendly with other animals, although not usually as sociable towards humans as dogs are. Number 22. Despite being suited to the arboreal lifestyle and shyness towards humans, grey foxes can still be observed in urban areas. 23. The grey fox also uses its tail as a blanket during cold weather. 24. The grey fox typically has a grey coat. However, their coats can alter in shade throughout the seasons. For example, in fall, they grow darker fur to protect them from the colder climate. 25. An adult grey fox can leap up to 18 feet. 26. A short, thick, coarse coat allows grey foxes to blend into the forest floor as they forage for nuts, berries, insects, small reptiles and rodents. 27. The grey fox has been present throughout California's northern Sierra Nevada during the late Ice Age, according to fossil fauna from two caves in the north of the state. 28. When cornered, grey foxes are known to become aggressive. 29. They are good swimmers. The grey fox is able to swim when necessary. 
30. Grey foxes often store their food in protected places or caches for several days at a time. 31. A grey fox is quite a formidable foe, capable of killing prey three times its size by biting on the prey's throat. For capturing prey, they are very well adapted to an arboreal lifestyle with sharp semi-retractable claws. 32. The grey fox often takes its food to the lower limbs of trees so it can feed while avoiding other predators who might either attack or steal its food. 33. There are several places that grey foxes like to hide their food. These include rock piles and hollow logs. 34. Foxes aren't always nocturnal. They're able to function quite well in the day. For this reason, they're generally considered to be cathemeral. Number 35. The grey fox is not dangerous to humans unless it has rabies. Number 36. The grey fox has a longer ear canal than other species of fox. The shape of its skull is different too. Number 37. There are two subspecies that live in North America, the grey fox of the eastern United States and the grey fox of the west. 38. The grey fox is mainly solitary. However, it does sometimes live in small family groups of up to six individuals. These groups consist of parents and young family members from the previous year. 39. They're known for their extreme curiosity. This trait has potentially caused them to become endangered in some areas. Number 40. The only time they are likely to drink water is before eating white cedar berries. This allows them to swallow the toxic berries more easily. That's it. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like this video and subscribe for more wildlife top 10s and animal facts. Thank you for watching Ranger Planet.